In this video, we will explain the most common mistake many of us do while trying to lose weight and how to calculate your daily calorie needs accurately. We will then describe how to change your calorie intake according to your fitness goals and also provide you with a sample calculation. Welcome to Kaya. We believe when it comes to fitness, there is a lot of information out there. Unfortunately, most of it is quite unorganized. It is the aim of this channel to organize it and present it in the form of a series of video lessons. Subscribe to our channel to get a video lesson every Sunday. Consider the situation of Amy. Amy has recently gained a lot of weight and decides to get back in shape. She understands that the path to fitness is diet and exercise. She calculates her daily calorie requirements and maintains a calorie deficit to start losing fat. She also starts working out in the gym regularly to burn more calories. She sustains her new lifestyle for a few weeks and then decides to check how much progress she has made. To her dismay, she notices that she has not lost any weight. This really discourages her. She gives up, concluding that her body has a tendency of retaining fat even when she is eating less. Did Amy's body really have a tendency to retain fat? The answer is no. The problem actually was with the formula she used to calculate her daily calorie needs. You see, Amy was using one of the generic online tools. Most of them assume that your daily calorie requirement increases with your body weight. This is based on the assumption that at higher body weight, you have more muscle mass. Since all those muscles need energy to do work, higher is your calorie requirement. This argument holds true for someone who is lean and athletic, but breaks down for an obese person. Unlike muscles, fat does not consume any calories. Hence, an obese person erroneously calculates higher daily calorie requirement than what they actually need. This is exactly what happened to Amy. The common formula she used to calculate daily calorie needs is inherently flawed. It wrongly assumes that your daily calorie needs increase with your body weight. In reality, your daily calorie needs increase with your muscle mass and not your body weight. Your muscle mass is proportional to your fat-free weight, which is your total weight minus your fat weight. Your fat weight can be calculated by figuring out your body fat percentage, that is, the percentage of your body weight, which is composed of fat. Measuring body fat percentage is beyond the scope of this video. A Google search will find numerous articles that you can look up. Once you have figured out what your body fat percentage is, you can calculate your fat weight by multiplying your total weight with the body fat percentage. Once you know your fat-free weight, through this formula you can calculate your resting metabolic rate or RMR, which is the energy you need to spend for just lying in bed and doing nothing. Now of course, most of us do not just stay in bed. We perform our daily activities, which all require energy. You can calculate active metabolic rate or AMR by multiplying your resting metabolic rate with an activity factor. Shown here are the factors you need to multiply your RMR based on your level of activity. Keep in mind that this is the daily calorie need outside of calories burnt during exercise. Finally, using this formula you can calculate the calorie expenditure during exercise where METS is a metabolic multiplier that is applied to any exercise based on how intense it is. Shown is the list of METS for different types of exercises. Daily total calorie needs can then be calculated by adding the AMR and the calories burnt during exercise. This daily total calorie need is a requirement for sustaining our current body weight. In order to cut fat, we recommend subtracting 500 calories from our daily calorie needs. If on the other hand we want to gain muscle, then we should add 500 calories to our daily calorie needs. This way we will gain or lose one pound every week, which is a healthy rate weight change. It should be noted that above calculation is just a starting point. To attain 100% accuracy in your estimate, you need to do trial and error where you take calculated amounts of calories for a week and observe how much weight you gain or lose, and then accordingly change the diet. Let's do a sample calculation to better understand how to calculate our daily calorie needs. Consider a 6 foot tall athlete who has a weight of 180 pounds and 10% body fat percentage. The weight of fat in his body is 10% of 180 pounds, or 18 pounds. We need to subtract this from his overall weight to calculate his fat-free mass, which will be 180 minus 18, or 162 pounds. His resting metabolic rate can then be calculated by the formula 500 plus 10 times his fat-free weight, or 500 
plus 10 times 162 equals 2,120. Let's suppose that he has an active occupation with prolonged standing. So his activity factor is 1.8. His daily calorie requirements outside of exercise, hence, is 1.8 times his resting metabolic rate, or 1.8 times 2,120 equals 3,816. So on the days when he is not performing exercises, he needs to consume 3,816 calories. On the day when he performs exercise, he will need to add the calories he expended in performing the exercise. The calories burnt during an exercise is the product of his body weight in pounds, exercise duration in hours, and metabolic factor in METs divided by 2.2. Assuming he performs intense free weight training for an hour and a half, METs for such an exercise is 6, so his calorie burnt during exercise will be 180 times 1.5 times 6, divided by 2.2, which equals 736. Daily calorie need for our athlete on the day he performs weight training, hence will be the sum of his calorie needs outside of exercise and the calories burnt during exercise. That is 3,816 plus 736, or 4,552 calories. To summarize, our 180-pound athlete with 10% body fat needs 3,816 calories on resting days and 4,552 calories on workout days to sustain his weight. If he wanted to increase muscle mass, then he will need to add 500 more calories daily, and if he is cutting, then he will have to subtract 500 calories. Thus concludes our video on calorie calculation. For next week's video, we will break down these calories into macronutrients to guide you on what should be the source of your calories. Thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed watching our video. Leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with us. We would love to hear your opinion either way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have more exciting stuff coming up for you. Have a great week ahead and we will see you in the next video.